it's an inspiring thing to stand here and to see the work of so many people put to such great use. And uh, it is uh, a privilege in my position to be able to represent our company uh, in the small role that we played in helping uh, with this exercise. You know, our company uh, believes that, that giving back is essential to our uh, success, and finding ways to do that is a high priority for our management team. Uh, I'm so pleased that a year ago we got introduced to the Operation Finally Home folks, and we were able to have our first home dedication just a year ago. Um, one of the exciting things about that is on the completion of that, we looked at our partners from Howard Hughes and nodded at each other and said, we're going to do this again? Absolutely, no questions asked. Uh, we had volunteers throughout our division, throughout our company, who wanted to participate uh, and, and do this again. I've heard many of our home recipients say they don't deserve a home, that they know others who deserve it more, that they were just doing their job. Sergeant Cadlett may be uh, experiencing some of those feelings as well, but he's wrong if he is. He deserves this. Aaron deserves this, as well as Abby, Abby and Josh and Cody. They all deserve this. They've all sacrificed. They paid a price for this home I never want to pay. Sergeant Cadillac served his country for 20 years in the military, both as a Marine and as a soldier. He fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. During his first deployment, deployment to Iraq, he witnessed the carnage of war every day as a medic and x-ray technician. Then his second deployment was Afghanistan, the Valley of Death, where 18 of his brothers fell during the 12-month deployment. John has witnessed the horrific reality of war. He's been there on the battlefield in the Valley of Death. He fought and he's seen his brothers die and he battles now with the demon spirits that haunt a combat veteran. And he pushes through the physical ailments from the combat. And I know what gets him through every day. His beautiful family and the Holy Spirit. I'm a it's hard to really fathom that this is happening in nowhere. We're standing in front of the house, watching it get built. I just want to say thank you to everybody that came out today. Thank you to Beezer Homes. I mean, I remember when we went to the design center to start picking out the details of our home. Uh, Bruce came down and he said, I want you to treat these guys like your million, million dollar clients. And by everybody in the organization, we were. Um, Aaron's made friends with the designer that helped her pick out all the stuff for the house, Shauna. I've become friends with Chris. So it's really been a family build. It hasn't been like we were a client. We never felt, you know, like uh, we we're just another number to them. We felt like family from day one. And the Howard Hughes Corporation for donating a lot. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better spot. You know, the Houston Texans, uh, all the, the contribution. I mean, I think that the highlight of the day for the kids was when uh, Lee told them that Tora was going to be here. That was their highlight. They were not not really into the whole house thing. But I just want to say uh, thanks to God for what he's done. For me and my family. The restoration that you provided to me and to my marriage. And the continued support, like Lee said, the undeserved support that I get from him and his presence in my life. Uh, anything I do, I hope it just glorifies him. Whatever happens in this house, I hope is for his glory and for his benefit. And that the people that enter these doors will find God there. And if, if we do that with this house, then it serves its purpose. As a representative of the Texas organization, I just want to thank you and your family for your service and commitment to this country. Um, it's a great honor for me and privilege to represent the Texans in this uh, 
the ceremony. It's such a wonderful turnout. It's such a beautiful home. Um, my eyes got a little sweaty when you guys pulled up. Man, I saw your, your children's smile was just priceless. Uh, in fact, you made looks like a future offensive lineman. You got going right there, man. <laughs> you didn't know it yet, but he might be. Um, anyways, I just want to thank the, uh, the Beezer Homes, the uh, Howard Hughes Corporation, uh, and, and from the from Bob McNair and the Houston Texans, we're we're very proud to be a part of this this ceremony. We've uh, we've done seven homes now, donated over 165,000 to the to this uh, to this charity, and we're we're excited to be a part of it. So we've got a little uh, little token of our appreciation, a little, little housewarming gift that we're going to present to you guys. We are Texans. Framed uh, picture. Welcome home. John. I had the privilege of being here during the groundbreaking ceremony, and, and I am a veteran also. I came from the U.S. Coast Guard, and this is where I deployed home, so I welcome you. I own an insurance company, the Woodlands Insurance Company, and we donated the insurance for this home so that you guys can move in not just mortgage-free without any first-year overhead, and we're happy to do that as a company and a community. We want this to be the best place for veterans to live, retire, and grow their families. We welcome the Catholic family to the Woodlands Township. Thank you for being here, and thank you for choosing our hometown. So all I have left to say today is, Sergeant Catholic, welcome. You're finally home. Woo! Woo!